Benvenuti scholars, today Dr. Sonia Burgess and Dr. Joe Marquette are going to help you check and fix your table of contents, your list of tables, and your list of figures. All right, so here we are on the table of contents, and anytime we do editing, please go up to the paragraph group and turn on the Pilcro. At that point, you can see all the hard returns and the other hidden editing symbols. Uh, as we start this page, you just want to make sure that you are on page eight or whatever page makes sense. Uh, please look at our other video to see how to do that. And I'm going to hand this over to Dr. Burgess. Updating the table of contents is very easy. You simply click into the table of contents anywhere. There are two ways we can do this. We can right click. And if we right click, a window comes up and we want to select update field and select the second one that we want to update the entire field, the entire table. We'll say OK. And what we're looking for is actually what just popped up on our screen. We're, we're looking for any paragraphs, sentences, or images that happen to come up in our table of contents. Now, the steps that I'm explaining, we use the same exact steps on the list of tables and the list of figures. We'll get to those in a minute. Sometimes when you click on the table of contents, you get this little editing box. And if that pops up, great. You can click on it and use it. You can click on update table. You recognize that same window pops up and we're going to make that same selection, update the entire table and say, okay. Now, don't panic if that little box isn't there. You can use the first step, which is just right click anywhere in the table of contents. Now, sometimes learners have the, um, the temptation to come right in here into the table of contents and select this paragraph and delete it, make it go away. And now it looks great, doesn't it, Dr. Marquette? Looks it like sure it sure does. Yes. Except when someone like uh, someone who's in the operations side comes along or a reviewer or your chair or someone in your committee comes along and they update this table of contents, you can see it's really still broken. And the reason for that is when we have issues like this, it tells us that the paragraph or the sentence or the image is styled incorrectly in order to fix it, we don't want to correct it here on the table of contents. We want to correct it within the manuscript. And to do that, I'm going to pop down to page two and I'm going to see, oh, here's the paragraph that I saw in my table of contents. So I'm going to select it. And if I didn't remember exactly how many paragraphs were there, it doesn't hurt anything to grab the next paragraph as well. What we're going to do is we're going to correct the style. And so I'm on the home menu, I'm in the styles group, and I want to style this as normal. Now, keep in mind, this is the template that our university uses. So if your university uses or recommends another template, please make sure you check to see what the normal equivalent would be in your template. But by changing the style, you can see that it all looks fine here in the text. It's indented, it's not in bold or italics. So I'm gonna go ahead and go back up to my table of contents and we'll just go up just far enough to be in it and we'll click on update table and update the entire table again. And let's go ahead and go back to the top. And that's where my mistake was. That's where my paragraph was sitting. And now we can see that by going into the text and changing the style, I have actually corrected the table of contents. So as I scroll through the table of contents, I'm not trying to make anybody dizzy, but as we scroll through the table of contents, we're looking to see, are there any other paragraphs? Are there any images? And I don't see any. I do, however, see an issue that is a known problem in the template that our university uses. Now, some manuscripts don't have this problem, but if yours does and it shows the references without the dot leaders, 
Those little dots have a name. They're called dot leaders. What you can do is very quickly position your cursor immediately after the S in references and press the tab button on your keyboard once. And then those dot leaders appear. We're not really sure why some manuscripts have it, some don't, but that's how you correct it. Okay, we also want to make sure that there's a page break at the end of the table of contents. And as you can see, there's no footer. It's also really important to just check the navigation bar to make sure all of the headings that show up in the navigation are also in the table of contents page. It's really important that the navigation will work when we click on a number so that it actually goes there. If it is not working or if the navigation is broken, that would be a reason that the manuscripts would be sent back to the student. And if there are any spaces in the table or in the navigation bar, we have another video that will show here that you can go check out how to fix that error. And that leads us down into the list of tables and list of figures. As we go down to the list of tables, we notice a couple of things. First, that it should be bolded in regular text and then italics for the name of the table. And you'll also see, because we have the Pilcrow on, that there are two spaces here after the number and the numbers are in chronological order. So just as we want to always make sure that the table contents is updated, we wanna do the same with the list of tables. So let's just right click into the tables and you can see that update field shows up. We wanna to go to the update entire table and look what happened. It looks like we're missing table two and tables one and three have a little bit of spacing issues going on. <laughs> okay, so let's check that out. Let's go to table one to just check out what the problem is. So the first thing that we see is a pill crow is here and it should really be a soft return. So to fix that, you will press down shift and enter and you'll see the little arrow come up. We need another one. So we're gonna do the same thing, shift and enter, and then we're going to delete that pill crow. And then if we go back up to list of tables and do the update field, update entire table. Okay, that's fixed. And you can see now that there are two dots. That's exactly what it should look like, but it looks like we're also missing table two. So let's fix that. We'll come go over to the navigation, put uh, enter, table two in there, it will take us to it. And let's see what, what the problem is. So I see the soft return, which is the arrow, but we're missing another one. So let's add one in. Okay, but now we have a lot of space going on here. So we wanna highlight the entire table two title, as well as the actual title, which in this case is just template. We're going to go up to styles, pull down the grid, and we're going to choose table title. When we do that, you can see that the spacing fixed itself, but we have to fix the bolding. So we're going to uh, select table two, go over to the font group and click on bold, and then select the actual title of the table, select that, go over to the font group and click on indent or the um, italics, and then let's just check it out. It's always a good idea to go back up to tables or whether you're doing list of tables or list of list of figures and then update it again. Let's see what happens. And there it is. Okay, so that's how you can fix one that's missing. And we're just going to do table three once more, see what's going on with that. Table three. Oh, well, we should see right here the pill crow instead of the hard return or the soft return. So it's shift, enter, shift, enter, remove the pill crow, make sure it's all in table title. And then again, just go through the same steps, bold. This part is italics. And then go back up to tables. We're going to, as always, check it with the update field. 
And that looks right. Excellent. And like you mentioned, it is not a problem. You can use the update table feature as many times as you need to. Uh, it doesn't do anything other than update your table. It looks to see what's going on in your manuscript and it brings it right here to these pages. Roman numeral is at the top of the list of tables and we have a page break. Right, at the bottom of your list of tables page, the footer has no content. And if you go ahead and scroll down, you can uh, we can take a look at the list of figures mm -hmm. and let's go ahead and update that. And let's just see what's going on with our list of figures. Oh, oh, big problem. <laughs> we have a figure that is uh, is joining our list of figures. So in order to correct this, um, again, the instinct would be to click on the, the image and press delete. We all know in order to correct it, we want to go down to page 79. So now we have a couple of things, just like the table. The figure label has a hard return. That pill crow is sitting there right next to the number one. So we're going to replace that with two soft returns. Now, the figures in our template, in order to get them to show up on the list of figures and not the list of, tab of tables, our figure label needs to be styled as caption. So we can grab that. And up in our styles group, we're going to look and see if it's styled as caption. And it is. So we're good there. So the last piece we need to do, remember we had our image that showed up in the list of figures. So we wanna go ahead and click on the image instead of the label. And now let's go ahead and go back up to our styles. And instead of it being styled as caption, it needs to be styled as normal. So again, just like I mentioned, this is the template that our university is using. And so if yours uses something else as, a, as the common body text, you'll want to find that out. So let's go ahead and click on the image one more time, because what, uh, what we prefer is that in APA, that image is off to the left. So we're going to select our image. And in order to move it over to the left margin, we can see in the paragraph group that it is left justified but we have a 0 0.5 inch indent. And so on our ruler, we can take our, our cursor, we can grab that top carrot and just drag it over to the, the left margin. And now our image is in the right place. So let's pop back up to the list of figures and we're gonna do this one more time. Let's update it and update the entire table. And there, look at that. Now we have our label and the subtitle on the same line, and there's no image in our in our list of figures. And we also have a section break that's really important, and there's no footer. And that concludes these three pages. Thank you, Dr. Sonia Burgess and Dr. Joe Marquette for your form and formatting expertise. Let us help you get to graduation.